Let's take a look at Brett, the Hitman Hart. Defining moments from 1992 WrestleMania 8. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at from the defining moments, Brett the Hitman Hart. So this came uh, this came out in 2023, but it is uh, celebrating WrestleMania 8 when Brett the Hitman Hart defeated Rowdy Roddy Piper for the Intercontinental Title. A uh, very good match. Wasn't the best WrestleMania, but a good WrestleMania. It was the WrestleMania that had Hulk Hogan and Sid Justice battle it out for in the main event. But yeah, this was a good match. Brett the Hitman Hart, I'm sure you're all aware of who he is, but he's the excellence of execution. The best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. Yeah, he can think that. I'm not sure if he is. He was part of one of my favorite tag teams of all time, the Hart Foundation. Loved the Hart Foundation growing up as a kid, especially when they were bad, when they were the heels. I liked them a lot. They were taking on the British Bulldogs. It was Brett the Hitman Hart and the Anvil Nightheart. Man, they just had attitude. They were they were cool. They came out in the leather jackets. I liked them a lot. A good, good tag team match. One of the greatest of all time, in my own opinion. So this is 1992. The defining moment is, and uh, that's the year I graduated. So, And I was still watching wrestling then. Let's take a look at the packaging. So it is a ringside exclusive. And they are still available. And I think a pretty reasonable price. I think I paid twenty around $20 for this action figure. Packaging. It says Defining Moments down there. Of course, it's got the ringside exclusive tag right in the middle. Mattel over here. And up there has his name, Brett the Hitman Hart. Top has that window where you can let light in to see your figure. The side, got a good picture of the Hitman. This side, same thing. WWE logo up there. The back, good picture of the Hitman. I'm wondering if that's actually from the match. Not sure. I'm sure it is. Why wouldn't they? Bottom has your uh, warnings, labels, and copyrights. And let's let's check out the what we have written here. Brett, Hitman Hart, and Rowdy Roddy Piper were no strangers to each other. In fact, Hot Rod used to train in the infamous Hart Dungeon back when Bret Hart was just a, a child. So that was with Stu Hart. His father was Stu Hart. Apparently, it was one of the toughest training facilities you go to. They called it the dungeon, of course, what he mentioned here. So, uh, at WrestleMania 8, however, they would be opponents facing off against each other for the first time for the coveted Intercontinental Championship. Though the iconic Piper was wily, was a wily ring veteran, the Hitman proved to be the craftier of the two by pinning Piper's elbows. Pinning Piper's elbows. I think I mean to say pinning I Piper's shoulders to the mat and showing why he's the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. So yeah, you can see right there, they got elbows instead of shoulders. Maybe that'll make his packaging more valuable, you know. Let's get the Hitman out of his his box. Open it. Man, is that actually the only piece of tape we got on this? It is. That was the only piece of tape. We'll get our knife. Uh, try to get our knife in here. Looks like there's two, lay two layers in there. Pry it open. There's one, two. That came open pretty easy there. Packaging's nice. The way that is angled, it looks like it might be hard. All right, Hitman out of there. And if anyone wants to see this, there it is. Got your writing right there, just like the. I did unpackage or unbox if you watched the Defining Moments 1998 Mankind. And that looks nice. Brett 
Heart Hitman. Looking really good. Let's get that back in the packaging. As everybody knows, if you've ever been on this channel before, I keep all my packaging. I put them all back in the box when I'm done. If I want to display them, I just pop them out of the box. It's getting a little crowded, but I'm managing. I'm managing. All right, here he is in his plastic case. Let's see, he has his, his open hands and his spare hands are gripping hands. I would like to maybe have seen a fist. But he's got two gripping hands and two open hands. Giving him, if you remember, Hitman coming out, he'd do this and spin around the ring. He does have straps or uh, ties up here around his head. Looks like probably holding his glasses on. He's got ties around his hands. Let's get them cut. Let's get this guy out of here. He's been in here way too long. Did I get that cut? Did I get that cut? No. Get in there a little deeper, Richard. And there's one. There's two. I think that's it. Just around the hands. So that to the side. Let's get his, his extra hands out. The gripping hands. Man, I wish they would have gave us some fists. I really do. He didn't get fists with Mick Foley neither, or Mankind, I guess I should say. And there's his hands out. Get these ties out of the way. And get the Hitman out of here. There we go. Hitman is out. There's his empty case. And yeah, there's that. Let's see the rubber band holding the glasses on. Get that off there. That looks awful. All right. This uh, jacket, I think it's like a pleather. Plastic leather. Not sure. I wish there was something on the front. I guess he probably didn't have anything on the front at WrestleMania 8. Not sure, but... So these, there's your glasses. They kind of just slide behind his head, his hair. That does, that looks a lot like Bret Hart to me. Really nice. The pink, got the hearts right here on the inner thigh. Pink knee pads, white boots, got the star on each side, outer side of each boot. I got the Hitman back there. Got the black stripe with the feathering on it. Oh, man. Oh, on his chest. He's got the his Hitman logo in the back. That is a skull, and it says Hitman. That looks cool. Looks really good. I like this. I like it a lot. Not sure how easy this jacket will be to get off. I'm guessing you have to pop the hands off and pull the jacket off. I'll probably do that for some uh, close-up shots of him to put throughout the video. All right, articulation does look down. A little bit of a up. This is really the one thing that your figures and, and Mattel's lines, some look up better than others, and it's usually to do with their hair or their collar or their neck. But yeah, side to side slightly. Yep, side to side slightly. Head left, right. I guess I should take his jacket off to go through this. See how easy his hands pop off. There's one. Left hand popped off. All right, let's get Hitman out of the jacket so he can go whoop up on my one of my favorite heels, Rowdy Roddy Piper. He's right behind the Iron Sheik. Iron Sheik number one, Rowdy Roddy Piper number two. So here's his jacket. Inside is just some nice plot, some fabric in there. But it's good. I, I do like it. I wonder how long it'll hold up to time. 
stitching is stitching is fairly good not the greatest but for what it is they did a good job on this good leather jacket all right let's get him let's get his hands back on out so they came off pretty easy and they pop on not bad little kids aren't gonna be able to do this could an eight-year-old do it i don't know maybe so there we go so he's got his i guess you would call that a tights and a singlet and that looks good so finishing up articulation shoulders all the way around he's got a bit of a butterfly not a ton I want this left shoulder right here don't want to don't want to come up I don't want to force it neither so he's not getting far back here I am not that is super stiff very nervous about moving this there we go I got it you just got to be careful. Work them out for a while. Black elbow pads not molded on. I like that. The knee pads are not molded on. Those may have trouble coming up and down. Finish articulation. Shoulder all the way around. Upper arm cut. Double jointed. Pinless. Elbows. Yep. Wrist back. Up and down, no back and forth on it, wrist all the way around. Of course, we took his hands off, so they are removable. Uh, waist all the way around. Look at the splits the hitman can do. Man. And then we got legs forward, not back. His butt stops it, so he's not doing the straddles at all. No, no, no. No drop down hips there. Double jointed pinned knees. Double jointed, but they are pinned. I can live with it. And upper boot cut all the way around on a rocker. Nope. Those awful, awful Mattel ankles. Ugh. Yucky. Can he pirouette? Do, 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 do. Sure he can. Sure he can. He went to the dungeon. Stu Hart taught all of his wrestlers that came through the dungeon how to pair what that is a known fact all right that's the hitman let's take a look at let's get the 1992 hitman next to the 1998 mankind there you go look at these guys we could have them a good match all right until next time, oh yeah.